Hi, my name is Jake Vossenkemper, Director of Research and Agronomy here at Liquid Grow. Hi, I'm Katie Hess, Director of Sales and Marketing here at Liquid Grow. Dr. Jake, we're in soybeans today. We were at a plot night last night. We had the question come up. We've had it a couple of times this week. Um, what else should we dump in, dump in the tank when we're doing fungicide and insecticide? There's a lot of products out there. How do you know which ones work? You ain't a kidding, Katie. There's a lot of products out there. And as you know, and probably many of the viewers know, uh, I spent a lot of time, myself and, and uh, the research crew spent a lot of time evaluating those types of products. And as a general comment, uh, you know, a little bit buyer beware because most of them that I test, we don't see as being consistent and or economical. But there are some that do and a few that rise to the top. And one product that I am very excited about uh, that I've been testing for two years now um, it's called Amnio 15. It's a it's a product that's foliar applied in soybean. It can be foliar applied at both V4, V5, and at R3. I've tested both, and uh, it's just incredible the consistency and the yield increases I've seen. I've tested this product at a total of seven sites over two years, and this is very rare. But I have never seen it not yield more than the untreated control. It might only have been about a half a bushel at one site, for, for example, but uh, you know, at some sites, it's as much as six bushel, and the average has been about a two and a half bushel yield increase. So really, you're probably not even going to be out much at a half a bushel just to even try it. Ab yeah, absolutely. Pretty yep. low risk. Yep, yep. The the use rate's about 17 <laughs> ounces to the acre. And uh, the last thing I'll say is that I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about exactly how this product works. I just want to mention a couple things. So uh, this product is involved in nitrogen metabolism. Uh, you probably don't know this, uh, but plants can only use ammonium to turn that into proteins within the plant itself. And so plants take up ammonium and nitrate, but they have to convert that nitrate to ammonium. And that's actually a pretty ener energetically expensive process. So anything you can do to make that less expensive for the plant could increase yields. And so because I know that, that, that this product's supposed to work in that way, I've been tasting, taking lots of tissue tests this year. Now, have you been taking these tissue samples or are your interns doing it, Jake? Uh, technically the interns. Well, so let's I, give them a little credit yeah, that, for all the work that you're they, making they, them do. They do summer. do a lot of good work. And, and But yes, I just get to look at the fun part, the data. And what we're seeing is that this product is absolutely increasing the amount of ammonium in the leaf tissue. And that's pretty awesome and it's not by a little bit it's it's by about uh three tenths to to a to a to a half a percentage point higher nitrogen concentration in the leaf tissue that is impressive i rarely see that that's definitely why you're a researcher when you're getting excited about a yes. half a percent yeah well <laughs> that's a big deal yeah good well jake um we're looking at these beans here today. They're in that R3 stage, maybe pushing the R4 stage. Is it getting too late to be putting on fungicide and seeing any sort of benefit? Well, no, it's definitely... Or this other product. Yeah, no, it's it's definitely not getting too late. It does, you know, I, I would say that most of the beans in our geography are probably at R3 and maybe going to R4, but it's not too late, but it is time to go ahead and think about getting this done. So this product's called... Amnio 15. And they can get that by calling up their liquor grow sales reps. Yes. And we can throw that in the tank today still. Yes. Great. Well, I hope everybody's having a great day and getting those beans sprayed. Stay in the know with liquor grow.